How many of you thought that we were done hearing about Obamacare website problems? The latest? The company hired to fix the disastrous sites wants an additional $121 million of your dollars. With me, author of Beating Obamacare 2014, Betsy McCoy. All right, what do we have to give them $121 million for? Because they actually to create most of the back end of this website. The reason for this is the lies, lies, and lies that came from the president and his secretary of health and human services. You remember last summer, Secretary Sebelius assured Congress the website would be ready. Then when it collapsed in October, she assured the nation it would be ready by December 1st. But that was only the front end. And in fact, the president even assured Bill O'Reilly right on this network that it was fixed. Remember Super Bowl night? But in fact, only the cosmetics were fixed. The back end was still missing. It, what it, is the back end? Explain okay. that. That's all the mechanics that link as many as 21 agencies so that when someone applies for a subsidy on the Obamacare exchange, they can check with all these different agencies, the Social Security numbers, the uh, income, the Labor Department, the IRS. None of that was completed. I'll give you an example. This is like, honey, <laughs> the first kitchen contract I signed, I forgot to ask for running water. So the new contract costs more. That's right, exactly so, what we're saying. All right, so now they say that with $121 million, yes. that we'll get the website fixed. But this is a different company. Yes. It is a different okay, company. Okay, so should we sue the other company for the money we already paid them? I mean, it's our money. If, you know, you, honey, you, they didn't fix it, honey, That's gonna right. pay, get the money That's back. That's right. This is clearly a case of throwing good money after bad. And frankly, it's time to repeal this clunker. Okay, I know, you, you, and you're still carrying it around. But the enrollment period is over. The horror stories continue. You. Uh, is there anything that positive? Let, let's try to be really positive. Anything good happen in Obamacare? Well, many, many people are glad that they can keep their kids on their parents' plans until they're 26. But that can, that's a one-liner in Obamacare that can be included in any new law. So the point is to re this. Unfortunately, many Republican leaders are now saying, we, we don't think repeal is possible, so we're going to ask the American people to just settle for uh, fixing this within the framework of the law. Those Republicans clearly haven't read this law, because if they had, even four years after it's passed, they would know that this law is corrupt at its core. You know what I think is interesting, uh, Betsy, is that the 2014 uh, elections are going to be very telling as to what happens with Obamacare. It will be a referendum on Obamacare. Well, all right. Betsy McCoy, always good to talk Thank to you, you about Obamacare. Thanks for being with us tonight.